Next up here at four, brand new developments is at this hour from the push to protect bus drivers in Florida. Florida lawmakers considering new legislation today, and it comes after a bus driver was murdered here in Tampa. Our state capital reporter, Forrest Saunders, joining us live from Tallahassee with the very latest. Forrest. Paul, that's absolutely right. These two bills were filed in the House and the Senate this month, and they aim to deter attackers by upping the penalties for doing so. Let's talk a little bit about how this all came to be. You might remember that last year, a passenger stabbed and killed a Tampa bus driver, and then six months later, it happened again. A different passenger stabbing and wounding a second driver. That violence prompting the filing of Senate Bill 1416 and a House companion. If passed, this legislation requires public bus drivers receive training to defuse confrontations before they escalate to violence. It's also encouraging public transit systems to install driver barriers, those big plastic boxes protecting drivers. And finally, it makes assault of public servants a third degree felony instead of a misdemeanor. That's a violent crime. You're putting someone in fear of, of your life. And uh, this isn't a mandatory minimum, by the way. All we're doing is we're, we're giving judges a little bit more sentencing discretion. Now, if approved, different pieces of this bill would go into effect at different times. The upgraded charge for assault, that would start in October. The rest of the policies would need to be in place by 2021. Now, this bill did just hit committee, so it hasn't moved yet. But we are hearing that it has bipartisan support, and you're going to need that if you want to get through the Florida legislature and onto the governor's desk. That's the latest here, Paul. Back to you. Forrest, thank you.